Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here at the range today doing a little bit of goofing around. And I uh, got this new scope here from, it's just sent over to me by the good folks over at CV Life. And I wanted to get out here and give it a try. I went ahead and mounted it up on my, my Notos. And really, uh, really liking this scope on this gun. I've had a couple of big scopes on it, and this one is very, 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 very small. It's a one to four LPVO, and uh, I am really liking it. This is not really kind of the review. This is just getting it out and shaking it out a little bit and trying it. Uh, we do have some wind and some rain moving in on me pretty quick here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just shoot a couple of groups with it but I thought you guys would really appreciate seeing this. Uh, this is my, so this is my, my Notos, uh, all decked out with Buckrail and Donny FL and uh, some other CV Life stuff there. There's my CV Life, uh, that's a laser, uh, laser and uh, scope combination, but uh, the, the We call it uh, buck rail side folder stock. Really cool, but here is the scope. I got the caps off right now, but uh, it is a one to four by 20. Really nice, clear little scope. Uh, very, I, I, I'm really kind of digging these uh, LPVOs. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and shoot it. I have uh, some of these, uh, Factory class American Rimfire targets that were sent to me by by Bill to use on the channel, and we're going to go ahead and use them up. <laughs> and uh, so we're shooting 25 yards here with the good old Notos. Right now, I have it loaded up with some Crossman Ultra Magnum. These are the domed 14.3 pellets. And I also have some of these Benjamin, they call these their single die match target grade pellets. Uh, and I'm kind of wondering, are they just exactly the same as these, these Crossmen? So I've already shot a couple of rounds out of this mag, but we'll go ahead and uh, put this mag onto one of those bullseyes and then uh, we'll load up some uh, Benjamins and, and see how they do. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. So I'm going to shoot the uh, second row from the bottom center bullseye. Right in the middle. <laughs> How many rounds I have left in here? I think I shot. Wow, <laughs> that's a nice looking group. Ooh, pulled that one off to right just a tiny bit. So this scope does come with a cantilever mount. Didn't quite work out for mounting up on here. It would be a little bit too low to allow me to use my Maple Custom mags. And I really like those. So I did use some uh, standard one inch high rings and uh, it mounted up really nice. off to the right too. Looking pretty good from where I'm sitting. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just keep an 
eye on my air here. Probably need to top it off before I run the Benjamins. I'm off the reg. Uh, let me see. Is this is that the last one? Okay. That was the last one. Stand by. I'm going to go ahead and uh, air this guy back up. And then we'll load up a mag full of those Benjamins and shoot those. All right. I only had about 3,200 in my tank. So <laughs> I aired it up to 3,200. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, do up a mag of these uh, Benjamins. Now, if I look at one of these and look at one of those, I don't see any difference. <laughs> so. I am pretty certain they are, maybe they're a little more, it might be the difference between like Meister Coogan's and R10 match pellets from RWS. Where the R10s are basically the same pellet, just they're inspected in quality control a little bit more. Uh, but uh, I don't see any difference. <laughs> the uh, tin of 500 Crossman's cost 10.99 on. Amazon and the tin of 400 Benjamins they're normally 19.99 I got them for 16 and some change because I found just caught them on sale uh, the 22s were on sale the 177s were still 19.99 or 20.99 or something like that but uh, all right so let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do let's go to the We'll go to the bowl just to the left of the one we were shooting at before. All right. Just a little high on that one, but not bad. good probably could almost stand to lose this cheek riser even with high rings this is still a little bit high here or a little bit low i mean the, the scope that was four It's looking pretty darn good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That is uh, one, one nice clear little scope. That is very nice. I am running it on the maximum four power. But, uh, that was some pretty darn good shooting there. 
really do love this Notos. Wondering what I'm gonna do to it next. Let me just see, can I see the laser from here? No, I guess not. I guess the laser is a little bit Nice bright daylight out here in 25 yards, probably a little bit too much for that laser, but I thought maybe I'd be able to see it. But anyway, there you go. Pretty cool little scope from CV Life. Uh, this one is just starting to inch out of that really ultra budget range. Uh, these do run right around 75 bucks at this filming, but uh, it is a pretty cool, it is a side or not side focus it is a has an illuminated reticle red and green uh, it's this kind of quirky the last two items I just got from CV life not really throwing a stone but it's kind of weird uh, they do use a, a atypical battery it's a 1632 rather than the normal uh, 2032 that we're used to so but I mean they're not hard to find but it's not the typical 30, 2032 that we're used to. So, but anyway, there you go. Some fantastic shooting by the Notos. Uh, always a great gun to shoot, and uh, I thought it'd be fun to try out this new CV Life scope on there. Hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.